Hey guys, and Mike's lesson. This is Josh. Um, this video is not really like a lesson or or me like like practicing something new that Mike's given us. It's just uh, almost like a tip, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. But uh, the other day, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, Monday, during one of the live lessons, somebody asked Mike about uh, this right left kick fill. You know, it's pretty, pretty standard uh, rock fill. It's really cool. You can do a lot of stuff with it, move it around really fast, or do it slow, and like, you can do a lot of stuff with it. It's a great fill. But Mike was talking about, oh, and so you don't make it sound, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is my mic impression, by the way. You add accents and stuff. That's pretty much what he said. Um, and I've played different patterns with putting accents in different places. Like, but it was never like really conscious, like conscious. It was never conscious, so I was you know, like, okay, I'm gonna put it here, and then I'm gonna put an accent on the right, and then on the left, and then the left again. It was just, you know, whatever flowed out. Usually it's, it sounds, you know, fine, so I never really thought about it. But today, um, after that lesson, I started to think about it. So today, I was just doing regular 16 note groove, very simple, bass drum on two and four, so. And then playing 16 notes with my right hand. So, I mean, pretty simple stuff. But uh, I just wanted to show you how much can be done just by putting the accents in different places. It totally changes the group. And the whole time, I'm just going to be doing right, I mean, kick on one, snare on two, kick three, kick, and then snare on four. Boom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, I don't know how many accent patterns, just a couple. I'm going to do one where it's putting the accent on every eighth note. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. I'm going to do one where it's just on um, all the E's and U's. I'll do one where it's just on the ands. I'll do one where it's just on all the downbeats. And then I'm going to do one that's, uh, you're putting an accent every three. So it's a kind of a, a three against four, and it's going to be going over the bar line. So, um, yeah, here it goes. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, hopefully you have a new appreciation for how drastically accents can change a group. Alright guys, peace out.